Well, hello there. It's Brandon with H2Oplants.com. Today we got a question. Does your aquarium need lots of fertilizer or not? We're gonna dive into that one today. So, nutrients, macros and micros. The cut of it is, your macros are what the plant is gonna consume the most of. We're talking phosphorus, nitrogen, potassium, these key large components into cellular development of these plants. Then, we have our micros. Micros are trace elements real teeny small amounts, iron, boron, manganese, things like this. They really fill in. It, it's, it's a, you have to have both. It, it's a marriage to be able to have healthy and happy plants. So, when should we, or shouldn't we, start dosing our tanks. These are questions you're gonna to have to ask yourself. Some of these questions are gonna be, what kind of expectations do you have for your tank? What kind of plants do you have in your tank? Do you have any deficiencies that are noticeable? You know, these are all things that you're gonna to have to go over and uh, have a good idea about before you get into uh, doing a lot of heavy dosing and feeding. What we do here is a lot different from what happens at homes. All the way at the higher end, here on a production stage at H2O Plants, we have, uh, we use tactics like uh, estimated indexing. Estimated indexing is feeding high levels, covering all the bases. I do a lot of experimenting here, but one of those is dosing requirements. I pay real close attention my plants, how they change. I'm in here every day, walking up and down, seeing them, understanding what I do and the effects that it has on all the plants that we have. A lot of times you need to consider also what kind of stock you have. If you're running a nano tank and you only got a few rasboras in there and you're thinking that just fish poop alone is going to help you keep all your plants alive, you're probably going to run into some problems gonna need a little bit more. Sometimes you really gotta hammer them, CO2, full, first, sweet, all the way to the hill. But these are a lot of things that you're gonna need to consider and ask yourself of, you know, to answer the question, should you or shouldn't you? So when should you or shouldn't you start dosing fertilizer? When you should start dosing fertilizer is when you see deficiencies. Now, deficiencies can show up in a lot of ways. One of the things that you're probably gonna see first is deficiencies in your young leaves. Young leaves have the tendency to show pretty quick. Now, yellowing in your young leaves, you see your new little baby leaves start going yellow, you don't have enough nitrogen you don't have enough iron. You see young leaves start getting crumply or having pinholes in them, you're short on potassium. These are a lot of things that are gonna come up. The longer you spend time around your plants, the longer you look at them and see, you're gonna get a real key and a good eye when you need to dose more or pull back. When shouldn't you dose? You shouldn't dose if all of your hardscape, if you've been dosing and all of your hardscape is covered in algae perhaps. A lot of algae in your tank means a lot of nutrients that aren't getting absorbed by the plants the way that they should. The algae's taken over. Shouldn't dose. 
alter your situation. You shouldn't dose if you have plants that don't need to be dosed. Plants that don't like a lot of fertilizer or don't need a lot of fertilizer to be happy. They don't want it, just don't give it to them. Couple more little things that you wanna look for. Maybe you got some yellowing in between the veins. Light on magnesium. Maybe some of your old leaves are starting to fall off. Might be a potassium deficiency. The way we do it here is we have dry fertilizers. I measure out to the double digit gram how much of each element needs to go into our tanks. I do a two-part micro macro. That is because we have a larger system. I'm using dry first and it's a lot easier to do on a production level. One of the best ways to deal with stuff at home, one of my favorites to do at home, is a quick and simple, easy all-in-one. You have your micronutrients, your macronutrients, everything that your plant is gonna need to cover all the bases through its stages and growing. Uh, one of the things that we have here at H2O Plants is Vital X. Vital X is for your highlight. You get on H2O Plants, dot com website our store is going to sell vital x which is a highlight and then your standard vital which is uh, a great supplement into a low or medium light tank now you could slam these and do your own experience experiment which it, i suggest you do you know um but uh there's all in ones and then there's your individual micro and macros. I do a custom mix here because I have so many species in all these tanks. I use my best judgment and find what I think is going to be the, the best mix. Just so happens, it's quite close to most of the industry standards. Another way to feed your aquarium plants is by providing a really good nutrient rich substrate and using tab fertilizers. What we have here at H2O Plants is our vital tabs. These vital tabs are a micro macro mix all in one. The best way to use these is to put them about an inch away from any of your root, you know, zones, your, your, your stems. These will cover about a five inch by five inch area in your substrate for two to three months. And then you're gonna wanna replace them with something new. So you have macros and micros, dry fertilizer, all in ones, root tabs, another big one in there is the good substrate. Now, I like to refer to this corner over here as my uh, R&D department. So over here, we have nine different tanks. Now in these nine different tanks, I have seven different substrates, seven. So I'm kind of doing uh, long-term quality performance with no bias, but my favorite so far and the cleanest is what we have here, is our Brightwell. The Brightwell that I've found, and actually this tank right here, this is Brightwell. It's great for shrimp, but I've never had a substrate come out of the bag into my tank with no mess and no fuss, just clean style. It was, it was great. I didn't experience this until recently, but I'm a, I'm a sold fan. This R&D department works around the clock and uh, it tells me a lot, it teaches me a lot. And I'm glad to be able to be here to share and teach you guys some of the stuff that we do here. And I wanna be able to help you guys learn stuff all the time. Part of this hobby, part of all of this 
is finding new ways to do stuff, other ways to do stuff, and what works best in your system uh, just to have that little piece of beautiful nature right there at home.